Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about neoteny versus pedogenesis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. Uh, so actually, there is a term that is pedomorphosis. Uh, that is of two types: neoteny and pedogenesis. So in our last lecture, I have already talked about neoteny. You can check that video if you wish to. Uh, the link is in the description box. And today I will specifically talk about the difference between neoteny and pedogenesis. So, what is neoteny? So, basically, it is the retention of juvenile characters by adults. And what is pedogenesis? So, it is the reproduction by a uh, juvenile. So, these two processes are uh, just opposite, you can say. Neoteny, process of suspending the physiological development of an organism. Pedogenesis, process of reproduction by an organism without attaining physical maturity. Neoteny, the somatic development of an organism gets delayed. So, what is somatic development? Somatic development means it is the development of the body other than the sexual characters. Mid pedogenesis, so it is the attainment of sexual maturity at the larval or juvenile stage of an organism. So it is a larval or it is a juvenile stage and it can reproduce, it can start reproduction. That is pedogenesis. Example of neoteny, uh, axolotl, they retain their juvenile aquatic form throughout the adulthood. And the example of pedogenesis, so Mexican axolotl, they breed in the larval state. So these are some basic differences between neoteny and pedogenesis. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.